So here we are, we're at the train depot in Tucson, Arizona, where Wyatt Earp uh, shot and killed Frank Stilwell. Uh, I'm gonna show you the memorial they got here and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the story. Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. At the train station in Tucson, Arizona, where they killed Stillwell. Can you see that? Wyatt and Doc, 2005. That's when the statues were put there. Mm -hmm. This is where he killed killed Frank Stillwell. His little. I don't know the exact place Frank Stillwell was standing when he got shot. I know it's kind of hard to interpret that map. It's somewhere along here, it's along those train tracks. That's about why was he standing out there? Well, he's probably, they, they were looking, I believe they were gonna ambush Wide Earp and them, and Wide Earp knew about it. And they, they were bringing the body of. That's a train track. They were bringing. Stilwell was at the, Stilwell was over there. Yeah. There they were bringing one of Wide Earp's brothers back to California to be buried. They were on the train. I'm going to read this real quick. Wyatt Earp joined his four brothers in the silver boom town of Tombstone in 1879 where Brother Virgil and Deputy U.S. Marshal Wyatt was, some, was a sometime lawman himself and hoped to become sheriff of the newly formed Cochise County in 1881. He withdrew from the race when the other candidate, John B. Hand, promised to make him chief deputy. Behan was associated with the rowdy element known as the Cowboys, who were involved in periodic rustling, foyers, robberies, and similar unscrupulous pursuits. Behan reneged on his promise to Earp, causing hard feelings between the two. A situation made worse when Earp stole Behan's girlfriend, 18-year-old Josephine Sarah Marcus. Hostility between Behan and his supporters and the Earp crowd, which included John H. Doc Holliday, the tubercular hot-tempered dentist and gambler, reached a flashpoint in October 26, 1881 with the infamous shootout near the OK Corral that left three of the Cowboys dead. In the weeks that followed, ambush attacks left Virgil Earp crippled and Morgan Earp dead. Def Thereafter, the Earp group is believed to have systematically enacted revenge on about a dozen of their enemies, including Frank Stillwell. Stillwell was shot at the Tucson Depot on March 20th, 1882. In the famous scene in Tombstone where he said, tell him I'm coming and hell's coming with me. <laughs> 